This guest opened our eyes when it comes to how we get dressed in the morning. This was revolutionary. So this is our uh, fashion expert, Amy Seaman. In this spring, she showed us how something called the power of three can change your fashion game. It's as simple as maybe putting a belt on. It's the third piece that can complete your look. Well, how about this? There's one summer staple that does just that, but you might be forgetting about it. Here to show us how to work the kimono into your wardrobe, is Amy Seaman. Hi, Amy. Hello. Oh, it's Hello. so nice to be with you. Yes, I love being here. And Thank she's you. got her little kimono, she's kimono on. Yes, too. yes. I've had this for probably five years now. Really? I'm not kidding. And I love to just pull it out every summer. I feel like this year, especially though, the kimonos are everywhere yeah. and we're seeing a lot more variations in the styles. I think it's not necessarily a one size fits all anymore. Okay, so this is interesting. So let's bring Barbie out. So Barbie yeah. is wearing our first kimono look and you have some yes. great advice for how to pick the one that's right for you yes. no matter so what. This is Barbie, she's wearing Free People. Free People, when I think of boho chic, like nobody does it like Free People. Best, I mean, yeah. just look at these vibrant colors and the way they put it together. This is more of kind of a traditional Japanese style robe kimono. It's so sure. pretty. And what's great about this is because of the actual arm sleeves, it doesn't fall off. So when you're hauling kids on your hip, <laughs> it'll stay on. Um, and then turn to the back. I love this interesting kind of oh, cutout oh. detail here on the back. So it's just really a head turner. Um, Barbie's tall, so she can pull this off. I've also worn this one with just a V-neck tee and cut off shorts, so you can really dress it down. I too. love it with the basic navy dress. Yeah, though. and then this uh, necklace is from Flaunt Accessories, and it's a vintage local designer that finds vintage pieces and turns it into jewelry. And I love the vintage vibe; kind of matches the the feel of the kimono. This now, so a, a style tip here: you're talking about how Barbie is tall, but when it comes to kimonos, yeah. one size does not necessarily fit all. Correct, and so we have two different uh, models coming up and we'll show you how if you're short because that's the thing I hear all the time is I'm short I look terrible in kimono it's oh, not true you don't so want we'll it to kind of talk about them yeah but she could do this as a swimsuit cover-up she could do this oh over absolutely anything. absolutely yeah thanks it's Barbie perfect. you look great thanks, that's Barbie. very oh, I love those colors we've got right? another model her name starts with B as well this is Brenda, Brenda. This, is, this is my mother Brenda oh my Brenda. gosh how wonderful I love it I get this. all of my best qualities from her <laughs> <laughs> sorry dad so talk to us about this yeah so this one is actually called a topper um, because it doesn't connect underneath so it literally just goes on top oh. I think one thing is kimonos you tend to think of the bright vibrant colors but they can really be classy as well and so I went with sort of a softer color palette here also age-appropriate so even my 88 year old grandma wears this great black and white kimono from every and she rocks it like nobody's business. This so looks, hi, Grandma. You know, it looks um, almost like an can. updated scarf. Yeah, Like a scarf exactly. you kind of feel like maybe feels a little bit old-fashioned. It looks just a little bit fresher. Right. And if you're curvier, look for one that has like an asymmetrical hemline. So see how it kind of comes to a point in the front? Sure. Yeah. That will really help elongate. So if you think of like the cocoon style, more like what I'm wearing, where it's just sort of like there are holes somewhere in, but it's all kind of one round, <laughs> that will really round you out. So if you're curvier, look for more of this asymmetrical that will elongate. And then- Plus you see the little sides on her, which are so Yeah, cute. right, yeah. so you can see her shape underneath. And then um, the tassel necklace, also from Flan Accessories, is great because it also brings the focus in and down. Sure. So really helping kind of slim out and elongate. And you have your mom in little skinny crop jeans. Yes, they look great. I know, yes. anybody yeah, can wear it. Fantastic, yeah. I love this. Thank you, Brenda. Thank Thank you. All right, we've got Thanks, a, a final kimono look. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I am. This is Kara. Oh, let's bring her this out. This is Kara. So this is my friend Kara, who's five foot two. Oh gosh. And Kara. she said to me, "I'm not going to be a model because I look terrible in kimonos." Oh. And I said, "I promise I will not make you look bad." <laughs> So the key, if you are petite, is proportion. So this one has short sleeves and a longer hemline. Yeah. If she was wearing Barbies that has the long hemline and the long sleeve, it would be like her. she's like swallowed by sure. fabric. Yeah. So you could also alternatively do a long sleeve with a short hemline, so one that hits at the waistline, okay. but not both. So not long and long, but you could do short and short or short and the long. Well, and she's got the shorts on underneath, so yeah, you see helps. a lot of so long you see leg. It. So that's the other trick too, is showing some skin. So even if you're someone who's broad shouldered, if you have a neckline that's a lower neckline or a V-neck, it'll create space in between, and so it doesn't look all straight across. Oh, so that's another yeah. styling trick. And then this, I would also wear this with high-waisted flare jeans to kind of go with the boho vibe. And if you're petite, a flare jean will make your legs look a mile long. Seriously? So, oh, yeah. Okay, because I, I don't know what to think about the flare. I know what I thought about them about 15 years oh, ago. I love the flare. I look so tall. I'm 5'6", and I look so tall in flare jeans. I, everybody's always like, did you grow? I just think they look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> did you grow? And 5'2", like and in your kimono, aren't you happy you listened to your friend? <laughs> yes. My wife is 5'2", inches. There's hope for her in a kimono. There is yes, all, and this is also free people, and the beautiful patchwork. Turn around and show us some of the back. Just oh, that's Patchwork fun. is in right now, we know, and the beautiful colors. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Yeah.
you so much. Well, you look great. You Thank look you great. so much. Five two. You're rocking a kimono. Yes, right. I'm working it. It's impossible. So we posted links to shop for these kimonos on our website. It's TwinCitiesLive.com, and then you're also going to find a link to Amy's blog, which is oh so fun. It's called To Wit To Woo. She dishes on fashion, beauty, and her takes on parenting will make you lol. <laughs> they will. Still, still to come. Why it's